Imagine a world without images, without photographs, without diagrams or drawings, or instructions from IKEA. A world without book covers and illustrations, websites with only words, and presentations with just with bullet points. Oh, hang on, hang on a minute. Some people still do that. I believe there are three types of people. The first group of people are the ones who love using visuals and use them regularly in their lessons. The second group of people understand the potential of visuals, but may not be using them as often as they'd like. And then the third group of people hated art at school, say they cannot draw, and are probably sitting there right now going, what's the use of this stalk? Well, over the next few minutes, I'd like to show you how I came to use visuals, and I'd like to tell you how you can use them too. We live in a visual world. We are literally surrounded by visuals from the moment we wake up in the morning, we pick up our phone and check the icons and the images and the photos on Instagram. We see visuals all the time through YouTube. Even the packets of cereal we pick up in the morning and the shops that we go to to buy. So why aren't we all teaching with visuals? Ancient man used to document their stories and their conquests on the walls of their caves. And as a child, we all loved to draw. So what changes when we get older? Why do we stop drawing? As we research on the internet, our eyes dart across the page, looking for recognizable symbols. Our brains love images, and they interpret them far easier. So again, why aren't we teaching with visuals? Think about your classroom, your office, or your home. How can you use visuals to inspire, ignite, and inform? Visuals guide us. They help us find what we're looking for. They instruct us. They map our ideas. And they interpret data. And just as music can transport you back to a time, a place, or a person, so too can visuals help us to remember time past. The senses are powerful in helping us remember. But the visual sense is the one that trumps them all. And when we combine these senses, that's when they truly become powerful. Just as when you put text and image together, visuals and voice, or music and photographs. They help us to remember. In fact, I'm remembering what I need to say right now by glancing at the screen with these visuals. So just in case you're wondering why I'm not connecting visually with you, it's because this is helping me remember. I remember my first Learning 2 conference all the way back in Shanghai. And I remember Jabiz teaching us to use Twitter to develop our PLN. And I really encourage you to take that on board, because it's the most powerful group of people I've ever come in contact with. And then in Beijing, when Ben got lost on the metro in Japan, and Dana Watts, I remember her inspiring me to use the iPad. But do we remember the details? The details of those talks some many months and years on. I've been taking visual notes for several years now. And last year at Learning 2 in Singapore, Jeff Plarman asked me if I'd take some visual notes live during these Learning 2 talks. I hadn't imagined how difficult that would be to take notes live. You see, for those cynics out there, those drawing phobics, it's not actually the hardest part drawing. It's actually the thinking, that metacognition. When you listen to what someone has to say and synchronize your thinking into a visual form to communicate to others to understand. How could you use this with your students or yourself? Wouldn't the minutes of a meeting be far more engaging? Wouldn't you remember the content far easier, such as the unit plans or the details in a book? I was absolutely rubbish at taking notes at university. 
I'm pretty awful at remembering facts and figures at school. Yet, as I'm showing now, I can remember what I need to say by looking at the visuals and triggering that memory. Currently, I blog each week, and I use visual notes to capture my thoughts and to try to pull those ideas together in a visual form, so that when someone looks at the blog, they can try to understand and remember what I'm trying to communicate. I've been banging on about the benefits of art for over 20 years now to deaf ears, but I'm hoping now that you can hear me. I'd like you to take away this. Visuals help us to remember, and they document our learning. And I'd like to leave you with a little challenge, if I may. Over the next couple of days, when you're in a session or you're at an extended workshop, take some visual notes. Try it out. Make it your newest mistake. Don't be fearful of it. And use one of these two apps or any app that you'd like to use, just as Sean Kirkwood did last year. And I'd like you to tweet it out with this hashtag. Please do this because there are people waiting on this now. L2 Visual Notes, so that everyone can benefit from your learning too. The power of visuals. How are you going to use them? Thank you.